Welcome to the UCR Academic Campus. There are four academic buildings, Franklin, Theodore, Eleanor, and Anne. Technically, also Elliot, but that's a different video. The buildings are all close together, a two minute walk at the very most. We lovingly call all our buildings by name, each one named after a member of the Roosevelt family. Let's begin with Franklin. It resides in the former town hall, a Gothic building built over 500 years ago. It was one of UCR's first buildings back in 2004. Exploring Franklin, you'll find a mix of classrooms, offices, fancy halls, and even music rooms. Classes are taught in a variety of spaces. A particularly special one is the Ratsal, which almost makes you feel like you're in a real courtroom. The Burgersaal is the main hall, where UCR's biggest events and gatherings are held, such as interweek speeches, general assemblies, and open days. If you ever find yourself lost in this Hogwarts-esque building, you can always come to the reception by the entrance and they'll point you in the right direction. Leaving Franklin and walking across our charming little home square, we arrive at our smallest academic building, Theodore. This building is also the home of the Hans Lipperhey Museum, which tells the story of how Middlebrook resident Hans Lipperhey discovered the telescope back in 1608. On theme with the museum, this is where astronomy classes are sometimes taught, as well as a variety of other classes. This was also the first building that UCR ever used for classes. As mentioned before, between Franklin and Theodore is Helm Square, and at its center is UCR's beloved outdoor classroom. Whenever the weather is beautiful, a lot of professors will teach here. Having had to class here myself, being taught outside, under the trees, puts everyone in a good mood and really enhances the learning experience. Just a 10 second walk through the archways and across the street is our next building, Eleanor. Classes are held here from every discipline in classrooms 7, 8, 9, and 10. Aside from classes, you can also find the ICT help desk here. If you have any ICT related questions regarding your Wi-Fi or email, you're always welcome here. Walking past the special pre-med study space and the incredibly valuable coffee machine, we find the Green Office, the Center of Sustainability at UCR. Up these stairs are the teacher and tutor offices. It's really easy at UCR to set up a meeting with your professor or tutor and they'll almost always have time for you. Leaving Eleanor, walking around the corner and down a typical Middlebrook alley, we arrive at the last building on the tour. This building also has a diverse range of facilities with plenty of space to study and tables for group meetings, with nice, large windows that provide a lot of natural light, and contains facilities for many of the more technical and hands-on disciplines. This is A21, our round classroom. And this is our state-of-the-art engineering lab, where a lot of the engineering students now have class. On top of the 3D printers, high-powered saws, and other machinery, we also have a very cool robot arm. Go floor higher and you'll find a chemistry laboratory. Last but not least, you'll also find UCR's Study Support Center. While they're good for helping you with your study skills, many will also visit for emotional and mental support because to be honest, we all need it sometimes. That concludes the tour of the academic buildings. The campus is small scale, cozy and tightly interwoven just like our wonderful little community. We hope you can explore it yourself one day. <laughs>